Welcome to Dry Dock Flower Farm, and uh, I'm Yvonne, and today I have um, some plug trays that I want to fill up with some soil. I've already pre-wet my soil in here. Um, I have a little, just a long um, tray that I already had. That I wasn't using for anything, and it's a um, it's a tote, so just a short tote that is, works perfect for this. And um, I want to plant. I've already pre-soaked some um, bales of Ireland, so I want to put those in here today. And um, I've, I have some delphinium seed. I want to uh, put in a plug tray. And this will probably, what I've moistened is probably only, only going to fill this one tray. Uh, but I'm going to fill it up really quick. And um, I got in a shipment of soil from Fort V. Uh, it's Fort V. Fort v uh, soil, just for soil blocking. Because, um, you know, uh, before what I would have to do is I would have to sift peat moss and... Um, I would have to sift the um, compost and then add all of my nutrients to it, which is fine to do because, you know, when you're on a budget, I'm on a budget, I'm, you know, I'm trying to do everything as, um, what I, the things that I need to do as cheaply as I can do them, but also have the best product that I can have too at the same time. So, um, and that's a, it's a good way to do it, you know, that way, sifting the pink moss and the, um, compost, but you really need to wear a mask when you do that, if it, if that's the way you're going to soil block, because, um, the peat moss is very dusty, and, um, I have, every time I've ever done it, I've had to, um, I coughed for three or four days afterwards, so, um, I thought that it would be better if I purchased the already mixed soil um, for the soil blocks. So um, that's what I did, and I got it in last night. I came home. I was excited about that because I'm going to be starting, you know, warm season uh, flowers uh, for the dry dock flower farm. Um, very soon, like in the next few weeks, I'm going to be starting those um, because my last frost date is April. April the 20th here in North Carolina, Zone 7B is my last frost date. And, um, sorry if I threw, I threw dirt. It was a little stick in there. Um, so, uh, I will be starting warm season annuals very soon and I will use up every bit of space that I can that I have under my grow lights because I want to start as much as possible all at once and so soil blocks gives me that um, ability to do that because it's a lot of blocks in one small space that you can get under the grow lights. And, um, the Bells of Ireland I may keep in there up underneath the lights for a few days, but then I'm gonna, you know, once they get their little roots established, I'm gonna put them in my little greenhouse. My greenhouse uh, is just a little 10 by 10. It's not, um, it's not heated or anything. And, um, But, you know, Bells of Island are a, they like the cool weather, but they will grow on once they get their roots established into warmer weather. So I want to get those in the ground. I do already have some um, in the flower garden. Um, that I sowed, 
I directly sowed in the flower garden um, in the fall. I'm just trying to get a little, little off the top here so that I can see each little seal. And I really don't want the seed because Bells of Ireland is sowed like directly on top. I believe is what I've, if I remember, you don't cover the seed. So I don't want to um, have a lot of dirt or soil in my tray that's gonna wash and cover my seed. So that's one tray. And I do have, I don't know where I put it now. I do have a second tray, oh yes. I'm just gonna fill this, this one up. I do have some holes in the bottom of it that I put in there last year for a purpose um, such as this. And, um, but I don't think this is going to um, fill it up. I'm probably gonna have to have some more soil. And I'll show you why I pre-wet this because the soil that I have for this project is so dry that if you put it in there as a dry product, you'll never get it wet. I know I've already tried it. I think I just got soil in my mouth. But anyway, I tried it. You know, last year I kept trying to figure out why, you know, I would put a seed in there and the seed would float to the top when I would try to wet it. And it would continue to float to the top, float to the top. This is a Pro Mix. This is what I'm using for this purpose. And um, it is a potting mix. And it is compressed in here. It's like this equals this one bag equals two bags of one cubic feet. And it is a 22 pound bag that is compressed down to one cubic foot. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna just pull. That is how compressed it is. Like it, you have to break this stuff up and as you can tell, and it's dusty, if you can see that dust coming off of it. And, I mean, of this and see you can see the corner of the bag that's how compressed it is in there and it's it takes some doing to get it out of that bag I've had that bag since last year and I've used it with um, all of my uh, sunflowers that I um, did in the um, plug trays last year and those were the seeds that kept floating to the top and I kept trying to figure out why. Why do, why are they floating to the top? Well, it's because the soil was so dry in that bag. It had no moisture in it at all. And the, and it just wouldn't even hardly take up the moisture. I mean, it takes a lot to get it nice and wet. And I got frustrated many times last year. I probably have dirt all over my face now. But, um, so I have my water hose out here. I'm out here under my she shed doing this. And I have my potato masher to just kind of because it really takes some effort to get this wet. And so, you know, it takes a little while to learn these things. And 
and it's probably 61 degrees here. The sun's starting to come out, so it may get up to 70 this afternoon. And I have lots of things to do today. To show you so you, you know if you're a home gardener and you get one of those pro mix bags from the store because they are cheaper well they were they were I don't know what they are now since everything seems to be going up day by day um, to get that um, bag and you know on a budget you got to do what you got to do And the peat moss is way more um, uh, dustier and drier than this is. But you do need to pre-wet pre this. Um, so if you buy that Pro Mix condensed, you know, you have, you'd have to do that. So this is my little soil blocker that I use to soil block with and I have some trays out here I bought these from the Dollar Tree um, last year and they hold about a hundred and sixty soil blocks little soil blocks so you can get a hundred and sixty plants on this and I just bought these from Amazon the cafeteria trays. I'm excited to see how many of this I can get on this for our, my warm season uh, plants. And um, so that's, you know, what you need for those things. And I um, will use those for the soil blocks. And So if you were getting this dry soil and putting it in your pots and wondering why you could never get it wet or your um, seeds weren't coming up or your flower did not do well, um, it's, or you, you, know, you just could never seem to get your flower or um, your pot wet enough, it's because it needs to be Pretty wet before you put ever put it in the pot. And it's time to for me to. Um, I'll have to do a, write much of this because it's time for me to um, plant uh, my cabbage seeds. It's time for me to uh, to. Um, plant um, right many seed, different seeds. Uh, my tomatoes, I'm going to wait another week before I plant those. Um, but uh, cabbage and peppers, I can go ahead and start now. And so that's what I'm going to do so I can have an early start on them and maybe, you know, get some of the bug damage that occurs with your um, your cabbage plants once it starts getting hot outside and, 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 I, and I, I like this little tub more than a lot of them that I've seen because I can just put the tray inside of it this long tray fill it up if any dirt spills out it's still in there because you don't want to um, lose any of your soil. Everything is too expensive to waste or to, you know, lose any of it. So, once I get my bales planted and I, um, 
I may do another video to show you the sprouts on them. See that clump? Look at there. See that clump? It's, it was still dry. I mean, it never, the wet never got to it. Water never got to it. Alrighty, guys. I will um, bring you back in a second part of the video to show you um, the um, sprouted bales because I'm going to put those in this tray, I think. All right. And I'm going to put the, del the delphinium in the other. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around here at the Dry Dock Flower Farm and joining me <laughs> um, as I uh, play in the soil. Um, I was trying to find something to wipe my hand off with so that I could turn my camera off. But I don't think that's going to happen, so let's see here. Huh. I see something. Hang on. All right, so I got one clean finger. <laughs> Thank you all for coming by the Dry Dock Flower Farm, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.